So Google's messaging strategy, uh, some would say, is convoluted and messy. But along the way, some have wondered if Google's flavor of rich communication services, that's RCS, might be a beacon of light. Joining us to help make sense of RCS is David Ruddick from Android Police. How's it going, David? Great. Thanks, Jason. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, so Absolutely. Be before we get to RCS, because it can get a little confusing, why is Android messaging such... I don't know, such a confusing mess. My my thoughts, but I'm I'm assuming you probably agree to some extent. Well, I mean, it's funny, you know, you see a lot of people saying Android communications are a mess, but it's especially true in the United States, uh, probably more than anywhere else. Outside the United States, everybody's perfectly happy to use, you know, WhatsApp or WeChat or Telegram or Line or whatever your your regional uh, messaging, uh, you know, messaging app that you like is. In the U.S., though, we have this situation where the iPhone is so popular and thus iMessage is so popular that, well, if you want to talk to your friends with iPhones, you kind of have to do it over SMS. And SMS is an ideal because, you know, your iPhone friends with iMessage can't give you all of the cool features of iMessage potentially in their messages. And you're stuck with the limitations of MMS, which are uh, extensive. So when people say that they want the iMessage for Android, what are, what are they saying exactly? What are, what are those features that they feel like they're missing? I mean, a lot of it is, you know, for example, if you send even something as simple as sending a picture in an SMS, well, you know, it's going to get compressed. It's going to just be, it's going to get JPEGified so mm -hmm. badly. Yeah. Um, just something as simple as that. Or, you know, for example, having native emoji and stickers and things like that in your messaging app, things that just, you know, work. Um, and, and that's kind of the experience that Google tried to create with Allo was an iMessage-like experience for Android. But obviously, it only works if the other person has Allo. So that's a major downside. RCS is what people are starting to look at and say, well, maybe this is how we can actually make that work. I feel like it's always a carrot that's dangling in front of us when it yes. comes to Android messaging. It's like, oh, well, that didn't work. Uh, you know, you even put out on Twitter that Allo sits at 134 in Play Store charts. So obviously that isn't lighting the charts on fire. And that was Google's next messaging thing. Um, but Google committed to RCS back in September officially uh, with a blog post. Uh, so give us an idea what RCS actually is, uh, why it's different from what we already have. Well, RCS has been around since I think it might be even 2012. It's been around a very long time. And GSMA, or yeah, that's GSMA, right, um, is is the body that really started to uh, try to push it. And they did so under the platform uh, Join, uh, J-O-Y-N. Well, Join never really caught on. It, if some carriers around the world, probably two or three dozen total maybe adopted it. And it just it didn't seem to work. But now Google uh, bought a company called Jive. I believe last year they bought Jive. Jive is the company that made the standard for the universal RCS profile for advanced messaging. <laughs> so the GSMA said, hey, we want to have a universal standard for RCS advanced messaging, which is a you know long way of saying for advanced messaging, we want just you know one standard, everybody uses it. And so Google bought the company that GSMA decided made the standard. So now the GSMA, I believe, uh, late last month said, hey, we're finally going to publish the universal standard. It's based on the same thing, you know, that Jibe uses, that Google bought. And we've got uh, in the U.S. the important ones to know. Uh, they have Sprint, they have T-Mobile, and they have Verizon on board uh, as being, you know, pledged to support this technology. Uh, the problem is right now we already have RCS in America. AT&T has it, Sprint has it, and T-Mobile has it. But AT&T RCS doesn't talk to T-Mobile RCS. <laughs> T-Mobile RCS doesn't talk to Sprint RCS. And Sprint RCS doesn't talk to AT&T RCS. And Google's own network, Project Fi, doesn't have RCS at all. Oh, man. And, and so it's just a mess. And, and everybody says, well, no, you eventually this will work out. Everything will become intercompatible once the universal profile is out there. And we'll get through this. The problem is th this could take two to three years to really sort out. And in that time, a lot could change. Wow. So does Google want people to use RCS or do they want people to use Allo or do they just don't care as long, pe as, long as people aren't like switching to iPhones or using Facebook Messenger? I think Allo and RCS, I mean, I'm not really sure if Allo could have RCS integrated into it in a way where Allo's features would be fully maintained or not. But I think that Google is essentially saying here, well, we'll see what sticks. Um, and that's how Google approaches so many products. They, they, they have multiple approaches. And whichever one ends up being very successful is the one they decide to keep. RCS, I would say, probably has a better chance than Allo, as Allo currently exists. But 
RCS has its has its fair share of obstacles ahead of it. So um, you say that Google's version of RCS is different than all the carriers take. Is it is it like limited like between the different kind of flavors of RCA, RCS, there's limited features or they don't talk the same, I don't know, air quotes, language or like what it, what exactly differentiates them? That's right. There, there's there's no way for them to communicate with each other right yeah. now. So T-Mobile has developed their own RCS advanced messaging that they've decided that's how they want to do it. And AT&T did the same. And, but Sprint decided to use Jibe, Google's thing. Now, AT&T hasn't signed on to the universal standard but T-Mobile has. So T-Mobile has essentially pledged that, hey, no matter what we do with RCS advanced messaging, eventually ours will work with everybody else's that also uses universal profile. How and when, we don't know. Um, and so there's just still a lot of uncertainty around it. It's not clear, you know, AT&T who have been pushing RCS advanced messaging, well, they're not signed on to the program to try to make it interoperable. Verizon is signed on to the program to make it interoperable. But Verizon hasn't ever announced any plans to implement RCS. Wow. So we, we assume that that Apple uh, doesn't put iMessage on Android because they want to keep people using iPhones. And, you know, we assume that, uh, do, do we assume that the carriers are not making compatible systems for the same reason? Like Sprint wants people to stay with Sprint. T-Mobile wants people to stay with T-Mobile. I think that eventually you'll see the carriers decide that they want interoperability. I think the the universal profile evidence is that I think they don't have any reason to really hurry up about doing that. I think they also – the carrier's big concern I think is they essentially – once they made SMS free, um, they, they couldn't – they couldn't put that back in the box. Um, SMS in America is basically free and unlimited, even on most prepaid plans now. And RCS might give them a chance to try to corner that again and maybe make messaging into a revenue platform. Um, in fact, the one of the GSMA's major, uh, major bullet points for the second release of the universal profile is turning uh, RCS advanced messaging into an e-commerce platform. So... Carriers are very much looking at this, I think, as a business situation where, well, how could we make money on this? And that's why I think they're they're being tentative about interoperability and you know, how and when things are going to happen. Cool. So then I should just get used to having a folder full of uh, messaging uh, apps and never knowing which one I actually use because everybody's on different things and there is no standard. That sounds great. Thank I you. think so. And um, Apple, like like you guys said, Apple has no reason to ever <laughs> sign on to this. They, 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 there's no incentive. So, And with Apple trying to monetize iMessage now, iMessage is now an RCS competitor, essentially. It's just yeah. that iMessage only works on one platform. Well, thank you so much for uh, depressing us Android users, uh, David Ruddick <laughs> at Android Police. Really appreciate it. I actually very much so appreciate you coming on and especially kind of dispelling some of the, the details behind RCS. Because when you read it, when you read through it, it can get a little confusing, like what the difference is. Uh, but I think anyone who's on Android understands the effect of all of this. And that's just that messaging feels like a... a a broken thing and I don't know where the fix is anywhere. Yeah, I think we're going to be in the quagmire for a little while longer. All righty. Uh, David Ruddick at Android Police. Thanks again, man. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too, guys. Okay. All right. See you later.